마술을 당기는 것 What's up guys, it's your boy Damon and welcome back to another Epic 7 video. I think that video pretty much said it for itself. Uh, back in the day, the data mine for Pavel said that he was a 3 star, so I was greatly anticipating that uh, Pavel was going to literally be a 3 star, but looked like Smilegate Super Creative had other plans. Now, I just want you guys to know that I saw one of his skills and I was like, WTF. Now, before I get excited about this hero, um, on paper, the one skill that I did see looks pretty nuts, but we're gonna go over them together um, as we kind of go through this but it's going to really depend on his scaling but with the potential that he has plus the fact that his damage scales with speed i think things can get ridiculous depending on what his actual base stats are but we're going to get into that here in just a little bit now as we look at pavel guys pavel is going to be pretty crazy all right because uh, Pavel is so a young member of the Perlin Raiders which i thought we were going to get a little while ago because we are already in Perlin these are some animations here that you guys can see how he runs. Like I said, he's definitely one of the coolest characters, and I know a lot of you guys looking for the Hispandos are definitely, definitely, definitely going to be excited about this hero. You guys can see the skill animation there. He's going to come into play. They're showcasing, like, the little spirit wolf or whatever that is behind him, um, and they're talking about a little bit about his background and his ties with, you know, Violet and Lilius. So what they're saying here is among Rangers, he and Lydica have the highest speed and attack stats. So you look at his base attack, like we're talking about 1,283 attack, which is ridiculous. 124 speed. 1,283 attack, 124 speed. Like, I don't, I don't, like at this point, like, I don't even care what his abilities are. <laughs> Like, I didn't look at the stats before, I just wanted to see this, you know, one of the, I read one of the skills. And uh, so, Triple S, he goes to attack plus 10.8%, and then if you change him to concentration, he actually gives himself 18% more attack. So, you're talking about a 1,283 hunter, right? So, there's a bunch of different artifacts, you can maybe put them on RSD, um, if you're trying to maximize the AoE damage for like a full cleave, like a speed cleave kind of deal. Uh, but this dude's going to be annoying, he's also going to be a Scorpio, so it's going to be a little fun uh, as we start to look at his abilities but we're going to look at the abilities together so when we look at his skill two first things first it grants the caster increased attack for two turns before firing a strong blast to win at all enemies damage dealt increases proportional to the caster's speed now the crazy thing about this ability is it also grants an extra turn before we even know what the rest of his abilities are now the kicker here is this he has high base attack if you switch into an imprint he gets another 18 percent so it's not going to be uncommon to see this due to 4k attack well over 200 speed because his base speed is so ridiculously high so because of that you can expect him to be positioned early and he doesn't really need assistance because of the fact that he's already fast and he buffs his own attack so with the self attack buff and the fact that he can cleave and if you're running a soul uh, like a mage like a dominion or something uh or uh, excuse me sidam with like uh, Tagal's Ancient Book or something, you can get this, the double burn with the extra turn here, um, and things could get a little dicey. In terms of turn advantage, if you guys are trying to put together a speedster team, uh, whether for RTA or regular arena and or guild wars, he can definitely, definitely, definitely fit that bill. Now, that extra turn, honestly, I, I feel like it's a little bit OP, especially as we already looked at his stats. If you're not... If you're not careful, I feel like this dude could really clap your team. Now, again, this is going to depend on how the multiplier scale. Like, so if he scales with speed, like, is, is he a speedster? Um, like, to the point where, like, his speed scaling damage is really high. So for those of you guys who have may have ran into a well-geared Assassin Kali or ran into a well-geared Assassin Sid, you guys know how hard these speed scaling units can hit for. So if you're talking about a raw attack scaling plus speed scaling, and uh, this is going to take some testing. I think I'm going to go in on this dude, though. <laughs> but uh, with that, uh, we're going to definitely check this guy out. And then from there, you know, we'll give you guys a firm opinion. But at first glance, the skill looks really, really strong. So let's see what this looks like. So that's the combat animation there. And that's just the skill, too. That wasn't the one that you guys saw, like in the beginning of the video. So he's going to S2 here for the attack, and then he's going to get the extra turn. And then we're going to go right into his skill three, which his skill three is destructive pursuit, which swiftly cuts and shoots the enemy. When the enemy is not an elite or boss monster, damage sharing effects are ign So 
swiftly cuts and shoots the enemy. All right. So what this sounds like is a single target, like a nuker. When the enemy is not an elite or boss monster, so when you're not basically using this in PvE, damage sharing effects are ignored. Damage dealt increases proportional to the caster speed. You know what this means, right? SSB, sit the F down. <laughs> Troublemaker crows it. Not that anybody was really using Troublemaker crows like that. Anyway, sit the F down. But I think this is just the um, the premise to Smilegate Super Creative saying, you guys want an answer to SSB? Here he is, right? So that's going to be crazy. Uh, so what I'm curious about here is if damage sharing effects are ignored, does that mean that Aureus is now nullified? Um, how much is that going to affect team comps? And again, depending on the multiplier of this ability. So for instance, if this is like a, uh, you know, a two multiplier or like a three multiplier or something crazy, uh, this could be the next, next biggest thing, like in terms of like getting rid of SSB, especially for guilt war situations, especially if SSB is the only threat, uh, Pavel, depending on what his multipliers are, could be a hard, hard counter to your girl SSB. I'm just picturing this guy on Rengar special drink right now, like a max Rengar special drink with the extra damage with super high attack, right? Where you start the fight, he bu he self buffs attack, he cleaves, RSD procs, he's pretty the team is pretty much dead. He chains into his S3, boom, S3 takes out whoever the hell else you want to take out, and then from there, it's whatever you want to do. So this could, I think this could be crazy, especially because he's leading with an AOE. You're probably going to be running them high crit. So if you're running heroes like C Dom with this hero, or if you're running like you know Faithless Lytica or regular Lytica uh, with this hero, there could be a lot of fun to be had depending on how you want to structure or set up your team. Now, considering the fact that he also has an AOE self buff, AOE attack, depending on how he how hard he could hit, he could be a super viable candidate for Banshee and or speed dungeon teams. I think uh where you need to clear waves so for instance that first wave for a11 that first wave for banshee i think pavel could be a very very good candidate for both of those dungeons potentially even golem uh depending on how good you can get your gear and i think he could really clean up a lot of speed teams just because of the fact that he just buffs himself and then attacks right so definitely 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 take a look at this and then again with the the three depending on the multiplier on the skill three is going to determine how hard this particular hero can hit so let's take a look at the animation again for the s3 so you guys can see this here uh this is the one that we saw pavel your boy basically a sniper here and this is what's gonna basically just lay out the enemy here so pavel looks dope man i look man we've been needing uh some male characters to look cool you know because i mean what do we got we got charles right <laughs> But as we get into his S1, uh, the big thing here with this Hurricane Sword, strikes enemy with the gun with a 60% chance to decrease hit chance for one turn. Damage dealt increases proportionally to the caster speed. He gets a little bit of effect chance here. But again, when you look at a kit like Pavel's and his kit just overall just screams like, all right, build me fast. All of my damage scales with speed. Everything I do scales with speed. So you can position me around a speed team. The only issue I think though, um, especially if you guys are running, going to be running a super fast team, like it seems like his primary job literally is to deal damage is that if the enemy, like for instance, RTA starts to counter pick you and starts to just pick bruiser, bruiser esque comps, it could be a problem again. But if you're running like a max RSD, I mean, especially since RSD, uh, Rengar special drink damage ignores defense anyway, it might not even matter. But that's something that, you know, again, it's just going to take some testing. This S1 with the hit chance here with the 75% chance to inflict hit chance could be good, you know, could be fun. But I think his primary utility is going to be the S2 and the S3 combo with the soul burn uh, just because that's just how it's set up. If I feel like with this hero, if you have to use the S1, chances are if you're cleaving, you're probably going to die. But if you set, I feel like if you set up Pavel in a good way and build him around heroes that could really benefit on his high speed with high attack power, I think he could be really, really good. So let's take a look at his S1 here. All right, so here it is. You guys can see nothing crazy, just super duper basic. Chance to miss, obviously, can always be good. But nonetheless, it looks like we got a new hero coming. 
So if you guys have been waiting for Pavel, he's going to be a five-star nuker offensive hero. Um, I can't really think of any other way to build this hero because you're not going to build him as a support or semi-tanky or any of that nonsense. You're literally going to set him up to crush your enemies. Um, in terms of artifacts, my first thought, I've been mentioning Rengar Special Drink this entire video just because I think Rengar Special Drink is going to be the go at, I think, for this hero, just for cleave purposes. Although there's some other stuff that you guys could run as well. I mean, if you don't have Rengar Special Drink, you guys can run otherworldly machinery i guess or you guys can maybe play with some some of the other harder uh, hunter artifacts or if you guys are going for like a dual attack squad you guys can go for like rosa hargana or like infinity basket if you guys want to pair them with like a lilius or something like that if you guys are looking for the footage of this video for the original footage i'll post a link in the description box so you guys can check that out let me know what you guys think about his kit at first glance. Will you guys be summoning for this hero when he comes out? Are you guys hyped for Pavel? Not hype? Whatever. Somewhere in the middle of the road. Let me know that in the comment box below as well. But with that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, it's your boy, Demon, bringing you guys another video. And we will see you guys next time. Peace.